the real title of the video should have been This is Bonefish Fishing and uh, they've been spending the day out on the flats around Isla Blanca which is uh, an area north of Cancun uh, in Mexico uh, This is me here with our guide for the day Enrique of uh, Cancun Fly Fishing and uh, when he collected me in the morning he informed me that Unfortunately, the bonefish haven't shown up this year. They normally start to arrive in uh, February and are resident on the flats by May. So instead, the only option was to go looking for tarpon who live in this mangrove area uh, that fringes the reef. So we're out from fairly early on in the morning. It was a half past five start uh, from the hotel uh, and we're out hunting around the lagoons and the, the mangroves looking for the elusive tarpon and you can hear them all the time splashing inside the, the mangroves but actually seeing them is another matter. And I think as you can see from the, the film early on in the day the water's quite cloudy and the tide was on the way in so the tide reached sort of high tide around about one o'clock in the afternoon by which time the water's gin clear the sun's high in the sky and the fish uh, disappear. Uh, so we spend a lot of time going between lagoon to lagoon through these little tunnels in the, the um, mangroves that are full of mosquitoes and uh, go by the nickname of Mos Mosquito Alley. And uh, between protecting yourself against the sun, you have to spend a lot of time covering yourself up against bites and uh, all the other discomforts of being out in the hot in the sun. I have to be honest and say it wasn't my chosen form of fishing, but uh, it was an experience. And Enrique did his best to locate and put me on fish. There is definitely a, a knack to fishing for these creatures. Um, you come across them sometimes all of a sudden and especially coming through some of these archways, we came across five at one stage, uh, sat right at the end of the tunnel, there was just no physical way you could ever cast for them, and as soon as you see the boat, they're off. Uh, and uh, at one occasion we were sitting eating our lunch, and one swung straight by the boat, and again, you just, you, if you're not ready the instant you see one, uh, you've got no chance. And here there was one right in near the edge and it's a bit of a battle between pulling your cast out of it and not wanting to get too close to the edge or going right in oh my to where the fish is <laughs> and taking the chance that you might end up snagging on the uh, mangroves which did on a couple of occasions and you're fishing with 20 and 30 pound fluorocarbon tippet it ain't going to snap just with pulling you're more likely to snap the fly line than you have the other tippet so once you've done that, you're in to try and uh, recover your fly uh, and any chance your fish is gone. So it was a long, hot day and by the afternoon the sky had, the, the water had cleared on the right tide and Enrique took me out onto the flats just to see what it was like. And I have to be honest, this was much more what I had envisaged. Uh, casting was a lot easier away from the trees, you've got the wind behind you. Uh, chucking these big heavy flies around and uh, unfortunately there's just no fish and by mid afternoon you're heading back in. If you ever fancy giving it a go yourself I can give you contact details for Enrique and his dad that run the Cancun fly fishing and uh, a company that will get you there because uh, trying to get to the place is not that easy. Uh, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this wee short film.